Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're diving into the full version of Tiny Glade, a game I've been excited to explore ever since trying the free demo on Steam. The demo gave us a test, but now we finally have the complete experience in our hands. If you ever wanted to escape into a world where you can let your creativity run wild without the stress of management, combat or goals, Tiny Glade, this is it. Tiny Glade is a charming diorama built that lets you doodle cozy cottages, whimsical castles, and even romantic ruins. It's a perfect little escape where all you need to worry about is turning forgotten meadows into lovable, enchanting dioramas. What really caught my attention is how easy it is to lose yourself in the building process. The controls are fluid, the details are generated, and there's no grid system. So you're free to design literally everything. It's super addicting. Almost like doodling with blocks. One moment you're placing walls and arches, and before you know it, you've created a tiny little kingdom. The best part is it's all about relaxing and letting your imagination flow. For this build, I'm working on a mix of fantasy medieval architecture and Bavarian style. And the results are looking incredible. Now when we talk about fantasy medieval design, we think of grand castles with like tall spires, thick stone walls, and intricate archways. It feels larger than life, like something straight out of a storybook, honestly. That makes it so fun to build in Tiny Glade. There, there are no limits, and you can really lean into that fantasy element and create something truly magical. I'm going for a bluish tent roof, while some of the towers will feature a solid foundation of a stone wall, giving it that sturdy fortress feel. As for the Bavarian styles houses, they'll have a charming white and yellow color scheme with a slightly weathered rundown walls to add to that rustic lived in touch. It's the perfect combination of grand fantasy and cozy grounded design. As you can see, Tiny Glade makes it so easy to stack and layer different architectural elements. The towers, for instance, feature solid stone bases with decorative wooden beams on top. The layering of different styles adds depth and character to the build. I love how the game fills in the small details automatically, whether it's moss creeping up the walls or ivy wrapping around the stonework. These little touches make the build feel alive. It's like it's been here there for, like it's been there for centuries. This build took me about an hour to complete, more or less, which is incredibly considering what you can achieve in such a short amount of time. Compared to like the other games you usually see me play on the channel, this was a uh, quick and super satisfying uh, to create. It's just a great feeling to see such detailed and polished results in less time, which makes Tiny Glade stand out from the rest. The gridless building system in Tiny Glade is one of my favorite features. Instead of being locked into specific placements or snapping points, you're free to place pieces wherever you like. This is especially useful when creating organic shapes like winding pathways or irregularly shaped towers. The towers in this build have a solid stone base and as you build higher you can start to add more fantasy elements like whimsical rooftops or decorative spires. What's also amazing in Tiny Glade is it's just not about the buildings either. The, the surrounding landscape plays a huge role in bringing your diorama to life. In this build, I add some greenery, trees, and a few scattered ruins to give it that overgrown magical vibe. Also, a beautiful little lake on the side to add to the atmosphere. The natural elements make everything feel more connected, like the castle has been standing here for ages, slowly being reclaimed by nature and being more part of a history that's gone down here. One of the things I appreciate most about Tiny Glade is how seamless the building experience is. There are no complicated menus or systems to manage, just a simple, intuitive interface that lets you jump straight into building. Whether you want to create a massive castle on a hill or a cozy little village along the creek, the tools are right there and the procedural generation takes care of the details. It's a game that really understands the less is more philosophy, literally. You just got enough tools and pieces to be creative, but not so many that you feel overwhelmed, you know? Another great aspect of Tiny Glade is the, the gridless building system. 
Instead of being confined to rigid blocks and snapping points, even though you do have snapping points, but you can choose to not build them, you can place elements freely, pretty much. That means you can create natural flooring layouts that feel organic and nice composition throughout your build. It's especially useful for making winding pathways, which makes the whole process feel much more creative. You can even make uneven walls and irregularly shaped structures. Basically, with the with what you have in the game and what they offer you, these features alongside the towers are square or round shape in that way. So you can pretty much build with them, but you can eventually build further out into the air with a lot of the pieces, which is something I'm hoping for us to try out later on if people are interested in seeing more Tiny Glade videos. Let me know in the comments down below. And also what really excites me about Tiny Glade is to see what comes next. I know the game is out and we pretty much got like some nice features and elements in the game. But I can imagine even more being added in future updates. Maybe we'll get new building styles like Gothic or Baroque or even different biomes as we have now with uh, unique environmental features, more clutter pieces. The possibilities are endless and I cannot wait to see how the game evolves. It's it's really hard to describe just how relaxing this game is. There's something so peaceful about sitting back, placing down these objects and figure them all out, watching your creation slowly take shape. The gentle music in the background and the absence of any pressure or deadlines really make this game feel like a breath of fresh air. It's so relaxing after a long day. It's exactly the kind of experience that helps you unwind. One of the things that really keeps me coming back to Tiny Glade is discovering all these small hidden tricks as you play. The game may seem simple at first glance, but there are so many subtle details you can add once you get comfortable with the tools. For example, let's talk about balconies. While the game doesn't prompt you to build them outright, if you tinker with the walls and extend some of the beams just right, you can easily create a charming little balcony that really adds to the personality of your build. I love how it feels when you start to think outside the box using the same elements in new ways to give your creations more depth. And don't even get me started on the spires. You start by placing a simple tower, but then you realize you can extend it. Maybe add another tier to make it taller, or use some extra decorations to give it that royal touch, as you see me doing here in the video. You can add flags, changing up the color of the roof, as mentioned, or even tweaking the shape of the spire can completely transform the look of your castle. It's these tiny adjustments that make your builds stand out and feel personalized. Also, what's cool is that the game doesn't tell you to do these things. You just figure them out as you go and that makes it so satisfying. It's like discovering your own creative flow, whether it's angling certain walls to create secret corners or adjusting the height of towers for a dramatic skyline. Every little experiment leads to something unique and as you get faster with the controls, you'll find yourself building more complex designs without even realizing it all in a short amount of time, as I definitely just experienced within these few days of having the game from demo to full release till now. So the more you play, the more tricks you uncover, making every session feel fresh and exciting. It's part of what makes Tiny Glade so addicting, to me at least. It's a game where creativity constantly evolves as you explore more of what's possible. So why did I want to build this? Well, I've always had a deep love for the fantasy theme. There's something about how it allows you to blend elements from different styles and the way fantasy and medieval architecture just clash together perfectly really speaks a lot to me. I knew right away that my first goal was to create a grand castle, kind of like nestled in the mountains. The idea was to start with something epic and majestic, something that felt like it had stood for, for centuries. But as I got further into the build, I was kind of, I found myself playing with different ideas and I didn't stick too rigidly to my original concept or thought. I started with the, the basic castle structure, but then as I began to extend the spires and tinker with the shapes a little bit and uh, getting this barbarian twist, it started to kind of like take shape. And you can see here between these two buildings, I'm trying to like make a little bridge that 
connects both of these houses. And then I just change up the pattern so we get a little bit more wooden sort of type texture. And then afterwards, just adding this spire to this so it kind of like looks nice on the top. And then we are slowly just adding a lot more clutter and windows and etc. into the build. What really brought it together was uh, this little plaza, as you see, appearing here in front of the castle, which with that cozy pavilion in the center and some buntings from that to the buildings really um, makes the whole place feel lived in uh, a very nice like community kind of plaza for whatever community that lives here. I also opened up some of the arch waves, making them um, lead to this beautiful lake that sits besides the castle. And uh, the whole scene, especially with the ruins added around the edges, gave the build this ancient but peaceful kind of feeling. Like the castle had been there forever and nature was slowly rec reclaiming it. And looking at the final results, it turned out way better than I initially anticipated. The combination of fantasy and medieval with a dash of that Bavarian flair just created something unique, I feel like. And it really makes um, makes the build stand out. And it always funny in this game that you can keep on going and remove things instantly if you're not feeling it. And um, seeing it evolve as I went along was, was really awesome. There's the water pavilion. A small elegant touch that ties the whole area together. You've seen me building it here in the water. Tiny Glade lets your creativity run wild and how ideas can shift and grow during the build process is quite uh, fun and uh, take it to the next level 100%. At the end here, I'm really happy with how this build turned out. The mix of fantasy, medieval and Bavarian styles works so well together. I have a few more towers and houses that I want to do, maybe for uh, another episode. There's still so much potential, and I can't wait to keep expanding this glade. If you guys want to see me building further on to this or start a new one, would love to hear that in the comments as well. And if you're looking for a game that lets you unleash your creativity and just relax, I highly recommend Tiny Glade. It's available now and it's on sale. so. You should definitely go grab it while you can. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more cozy building adventures. We've got a lot more coming, so stay tuned. All right, so let's now just check out the camera mode here. So we are in first person mode now, and we are kind of like walking at the water and looking up on our nice little creation that we did here today. Uh, I really like the first person mode because uh, it's it really stands out and it's awesome that you can check out your build in further details like how it everything is and that's also why I kind of want to do a bigger project to really see if you can immerse yourself in in some of the projects you'll end up making in in this game. But yeah, I really thought I really find it funny um, and um, awesome at the same time that uh, you can do this and especially zoom in and out and you can really see the details in your build like this little water pavilion we did and the ruins and all the bond things all the way around here and uh, yeah it's it's just, just really nice looking uh, i'm a big fan of this so uh, so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it here is a little uh, shot of the build itself and uh, i will see you in my next video take care everyone bye bye